Welcome to Research in Brief. I'm Marsha Rhodes for World at Work, and today we're discussing 401k trends and retirement rewards. And with me is Lenny Sanicola. Lenny, in recent years, there were several news items about how employers were cutting back on 401k plans thanks to the recession. What did this new study find? Well, Marsha, the study actually found quite the opposite. Nearly 9 out of 10 respondents indicated that they neither eliminated nor suspended 401k matching contributions during the previous five-year period, which covers 2008 through 2012. Perhaps they didn't suspend or eliminate, but did they lower the match? Well, three quarters or nearly three quarters of the companies uh, participating in the survey indicated that they had not changed their 401k matching contribution in the, during the past 12 months and were not planning to do so in the future and that was very similar with the 2008 results. That leads me to believe that the 2008 financial crisis did not significantly impact employer contributions to 401k plans despite what we may have seen in the media. Therefore employers are committed to the 401k plan as an integral part of the total rewards package. That's certainly good news. Has automatic enrollment become the norm? According to the survey, 56% of companies indicated that they offer auto enrollment. Out of that 56%, 26% indicated they offer it along with an auto escalation feature, and 30% indicated that they offer auto enrollment without such a feature. So clearly automatic enrollment is taking prevalence, and the survey indicated that those that did offer automatic enrollment clearly, as expected, would have a higher participation rate. Lenny, I read in the survey report that one in two employers offer investment advice services to their employees. True. This is a significant increase over the 2008 survey result, about 20 percent. This could be due to the Pension Protection Act finally taking effect. What's even more interesting is that we saw a 6 percent increase overall in employers offering financial advice, which was good news. The majority of survey respondents say they do not offer an annuity payout option for participants at this time. Do you expect this to change in the near future? The survey did indicate six, nearly six out of ten respondents saying that they are not offering them and would not consider offering them in the future. Annuities are, are complex instruments and can often leave employers with unwanted liabilities. In the short term, I don't see much movement in that space. However, Longer term, as more vendors come up with, with newer products in the annuity space and some of the issues around annuities are, are tackled, perhaps we'll see more employers considering them down the road. Let's switch gears now to employees. I understand from the survey that employee participation remains robust even in this prolonged economic recovery. That is correct, Marsha. Our survey indicates that over 70% of those that are eligible to participate in their company's 401k plans, in fact, do so. Sure, but at what level of contribution? On average, the survey reported about 5 to 7 percent of salary. 5 to 7 percent, is that enough? <laughs> no, no Marcia, not really. We know that uh, employees need to be saving more for their retirement. Another interesting find in the survey was that a third of companies reported that more than half of their plan participants were leaving money on the table in terms of the employer matching contribution. That tells me there's still a further need to, to educate employees about the advantages of 401k plans, specifically the advantage of, of the tax deferred feature. But it also tells me that there might be a need for employers to talk about retirement planning in a more holistic manner. A lot of employees I have seen over the last couple of years, especially during the financial crisis, begin to offer uh, education around cash and debt management budgeting to try to help employees get their financial house in order, what we call financial wellness. Bottom line is no matter how good the 401k plan is or how attractive it is or how great the employer match is, if people believe that they can't afford to participate or can in fact participate, they won't. So it opens an opportunity to further educate our workforce in a variety of financial matters. Since employees seem to be responding well to the automatic enrollment and automatic escalation features of the 401k system, do you ever see a time when the automatic default rate might rise from say 3% to 6%, maybe even 15%? Currently the minimum and maximum default rates for safe harbor benefit plans, for safe harbor plans are determined by the federal government. So that change would have to come at that level. 
There appears to be some good news, though, in that compared to 2008 levels, fewer employees are taking hardship distributions and loans from their 401k plans. Indeed, and it was good to see that result. The survey indicated that less employees are taking hardship distributions and loans, uh, definitely a decrease since the 2008 survey, and that indicates that employees hopefully are beginning to realize that the 401k plan is not an emergency fund. Through the efforts of employers educating their workforce on the importance of retirement planning and financial management for the future, we're starting to see inroads that employees are really using their 401k plan as a nest egg for their future. That was Lenny Sanicola talking about the 401k trends and retirement rewards survey report by World at Work and American Benefits Institute. For World at Work, I'm Marsha Rhodes.